Hi guys, I'm standing here with Eric. Yes. Eric is part of our material innovation team. Today we're going to talk about the different materials in insulation jackets. Okay, Eric, what is the fundamental principle behind insulation? How does it work? We can create insulation in different ways. Um, you know, from a vacuum bottle, for example, we, we use vacuum between two walls of steel. Yeah. But when working with garments and clothing, we are trying to trap air. So having air standing still inside the garment and not changing from being inside and outside and also the different thicknesses, depending on what your activity, what weather you're out in, and etc. At Fjellerven today, we use three different materials to create insulation. And uh, we have down, we have synthetic padding and wool. And wool. Yeah. Okay, we have brought in two cylinders of down here. Uh, they look equal in size, but uh, can you explain what the difference is here? Yeah, both are filled with down, uh, two different qualities. So actually it's the same weight um, of these two, two jars. Uh, but the difference is the quality of the down. So you can see this one is filling up the yard much, much more. Yeah. Actually, when we talk about down, this is what we want. Uh, but many, many think that this is how the down looks like. It's actually a feather because these are the things that normally punch through and comes yeah. out from your garment. Pinch your jacket and uh, exactly. leak. But th those we don't really want. So what we want is these like really tiny clusters of, of uh, down. As you can see, it's really lightweight. It's filling up the space a lot. And that's what we want to do in a garment. So this one will create a much lighter jacket and also more compressible jacket. So you can stuff it in a small sack and keep it in your backpack, for example. And that's the key benefit with down as the insulation material. Really compressible, really lightweight. Uh, but what happens when it gets wet then? That's a drawback. So down has a tendency of collapsing when it gets wet. So all that good insulation properties are, are gone. Preferably you would use a down jacket during the cold period of the year, winter, when it's snowing, really cold, no problem. But don't go outside when it's raining. All our down is a byproduct from the food industry. It's ethically produced and it's fully traceable all the way back to where the animals actually come from. So we have full control over the whole production of the down. So we're proud of that one. Let's take a look on, on one of the great properties. Perfect. From, from a perfectly good insulation piece to a pillow. Okay, so for the last 40 or 50 years, we've had uh, synthetic insulation as kind of the alternative to, to down insulation. And uh, we have a piece of uh, synthetic insulation here, right? Yes, this is polyester insulation. It's kind of really tiny fibers in a pretty non-structured way. So it's a non-woven material. Uh, to create this lofty, lofty material to be used in, in insulation layers, like the vest you're wearing today. And, and uh, the properties and, and the capacity to trap air, if you compare that to, to down, what, what's that like? It's pretty good, not as good as down, because it, you see that the loft is not as high, it's not filling up the same amount of space. Uh, but on the flip side or the good side, it's, it's really, it's durable. Yeah. So you can use it in many different ways. It handles moisture much better compared to, to down. It dries much faster and you don't have to be as afraid of using it when it's raining. But uh, at the end of the day, this is still made out of uh, a non-renewable material, right? It's non-renewable. A high content of, of recycled material, yeah. but it's not renewable, which is uh, maybe the benefit, one of the benefits with uh, both down and wool as yeah. insulation. Okay, so we have talked about down and we have talked about synthetic, yeah. but uh, we have the third material that we create insulation with, like probably the oldest material for clothing, uh, period. 
and ten thousand years for insulation. Yeah. yeah, this is interesting. Yeah, that's not what you I kind of anticipate when you think of wool. One of the reasons why maybe we have lost it as a material and retaking it now is because of the itchiness. That really coarse wool could be itchy yeah. when you wear it next to the skin. Um, but in this product here, we use it in between two layers of fabric, so the itchiness is not a problem any longer, and we can really work with the, with the, uh, with the properties of this fiber. We're buying it here in Sweden, yeah. so 80% uh, of Swedish wool is uh, thrown away uh, until we started to buy it. So now we have put the value on it and we can really process it and, and make a really fine, nice outdoor fabric yeah, out of it yeah. and using the insulation properties of, of it. So, so if you compare this padding to the, the synthetic padding then, what, what would, how do they come out compared to each other? They are very similar in the construction, so we can make kind of the same yeah. garments with it. Uh, the benefit with the wool compared to, to synthetic is how it handles water. This one actually absorbs the water, yeah. so it can take up to 30% of its own weight in water and then evaporate over time. So it kind of slows down the whole process of the water moving from the inside to the outside and acts as a buffer. It will like decrease the amount of moisture in the air you have in your system, so you will feel much drier and warmer. So this is a Canada shirt. Maybe not as technical and here we're combining it with a, a wool fabric on the, on the outside and a lining on the inside and in between these two layers we have this, this material yeah. here. Okay, so let's try to wrap this up. So starting with the down, I think there if your main concern is like weight and over insulation value and compressibility, shoes down. Next one is the synthetic one. Here I think the main, the, the good thing is of course it dries up quick, it's fairly lightweight and also the, the carrying, the wash carrying is super easy, just throw it in together with the rest of the stuff you yeah. have. The third one the is a wool. So if your concern is uh, more environmental uh, reasons, it's discarded material that we turn into fantastic functional uh, material. Here the key benefit is how it handles moisture, but in, in a completely different way compared to the, to the polyester or the synthetic padding. Okay, thanks a lot, Eric, for, for coming. Thank you very much. Very exciting and interesting stuff here. And uh, I'm sure many of you have a lots, of, lots of questions to this uh, or comments, so feel free to post them below. And uh, as usual, Click and subscribe and uh, we will be coming back to you soon with more interesting material, I think. Thank you.